leave the classroom without saying a thing. You can hear laughter from the other side of the door. I look at Botan with discontent and glare, but eyes are void of lights. Fucking Botan. Class is over, huh? I stop rolling Botan around in the garden, stand up to look at the school building. Maybe I should at least go back to her homeroom. What do I do with him, though? He's getting on my nerves that he's not even budging a bit. Damn Q, you owe me a big one. Here, catch! Eh? Turn around and face the familiar voice and see a retained little object fast approaching my face. Whoa. I managed to catch it. It's cold. A fruit milk? Yeah, nice work. How was Botan? Didn't move an inch, right? It would have been better if he did. Why? So embarrassed, it's hard to tell her. That aside, why are you all, all the way out here? I went to your classroom and you weren't there. When I asked the others, they started to laugh. Well, lastly, this guy grasped Botan by his back and tossed it at you. Whoa, you dumbass, don't handle Botan so roughly. I was even going to kick him as hard as I could. Did something happen? I don't want to talk about it. By the way, how do you get him to start moving again? I tried poking him, rolling him, bouncing him. He didn't react at all. It's creepy, if you ask me. He did all that to Botan? It's my curiosity at play. Well, it's fine since his defense increased when he turns into a plush. <laughs> Just what is this critter made of? Okay, Botan. Snap your fingers in front of Botan. We like this. Is it some sort of hypnotism? I won't say it isn't. We. Oh, you're hungry? We have just a little longer. There's homeroom left. Take Bulletin with you to homeroom. Yeah, I know. Anyway, thanks for the sixth period. That's my thanks. Yeah, I'm taking you without reservation. Well, I'll see ya. Q flicks her long hair and walks back to school building. Did you think of taking Bulletin to your classroom with him still like that? Bulletin, plushy, go. I hope we get burned in the same way. Homer eventually ends in meeting, meaning the school day is officially over. Alright, all done. Why are you so amped all of a sudden? No matter where the day actually starts, to matter for us, right? Don't put me in the same category as you. Now let's have another day of fun and get the most from our time at school. Going to an arcade again? No, not today. What is it then? Cost money, I don't have any. Gonna be super oh, he's gonna get the TV, isn't he? Yeah, TV VCR. Alright, we don't need to see that. We don't need to see this. And then he gets the game console, or whatever, the next day. Yeah, it's not porn, it's comedy videos. We don't need to see that. Alright, so check it my bag, drop in the seat, direct the thought of zombie wah. Wow. Zombie way through another class, nothing else, so I look at the window, really still shit. Okay. Tomoya! Don't just yell my name like that. Are you still in grade school? Well, let's not worry about that. I've got something funny to tell you. What is it? Come with me for a bit this way. Waves her hand at me, beckoning me over. I want to go to the bathroom. Let's make it later. That doesn't really matter now, does it? It does. I'll be right back, okay? Just wait for me. And I'll talk while we walk. She says and walks beside me. The girl's following me to the bathroom. Feels kind of weird. So, what is it? Slow my pace in order to ask her. Yeah, take a look at this. Saying so, she pulls something out of her sh shirt pocket. Pretty normal white envelope. No address written on it. There's a dog sticker on its flap. What about it? What do you think it is? Isn't it a letter? Yeah, but what kind of letter do you think it is? What do you mean? What do you think is written inside? Who knows? You want me to tell you, right? If you want to tell me, just tell me. Jeez, you're no fun. This is... Uh... Come on, I was just about to get to the good part. Are you gonna continue to follow me? Eh? We're at the bathroom already. Ah. The other student who just walked out of the bathroom were looking at Q with an astonished expression. Well, of course they would. You should've told me earlier. I'll listen to you complain later. Let me just get on in already. Go in already. Ah, oh, take your time. <coughs> Whew. After I finished my business, I let out sigh of relief for some reason. Still, I wonder what Q wanted to show me. It did look like a letter, but it wasn't addressed to anyone. Could it be for me? I bet it's one of those chain letters. If not, that a letter of challenge. 
Now I'm a little scared to leave in the bathroom. Perhaps I should just stay in here until the bell rings. There's a weird girl standing outside the bathroom. She's even peeking inside, isn't she? Could she be a pervert? If we let her be, she's gonna come inside. That's creepy. Sounds like it could be no fun, so let's stay here in here until bell rings. Sounds like it could be fun, so let's stay here until bell rings. Why is that? Why has that guy been here this whole time? Yeah, he's leaning against the wall with his arms crossed. He's going to beat somebody up. That's scary. What the hell are you staring at, huh? He's he's here to jack our money, and he's looking for someone easy to pick on. Run! Wait up! I'm not done yet. Dad, I picked the wrong place to kill time. <laughs> Guess it's time to head back inside. A few minutes after the bell ring, I start leaning, stop leaning against the wall, and leave the restroom. <laughs> hey, you! Whoa! Just how long does it take to use the bathroom? You're still here? I was waiting for you. Class started already. I know that. It's your fault that you do dozed off inside. Can't be helped, can it? Things that come out are going to come out. I thought that anything was coming out. <laughs> However, I didn't expect her to keep wanting, waiting even after the bell had rung. In this case, I guess it's more likely that it's a challenge instead of being a chain letter. So, what now? About what? Class started, you know. Well, lets out a deep breath in her hand and reaches for her pocket. Let's ditch. Eh? I said let's ditch class. Aren't you the class president? Ah, that doesn't matter. It's not like that means I have to be with honor student with honor students who had good grades and outstanding conduct. Besides, in the worst case, don't they just pick by lottery? Uh, I reuse a fine example. Well, I guess. So that's why it's fun. So, come with me for a bit. Smiles and points to the stairs with her thumb. What the hell is this situation here? If I knew this would happen, I would have just come out of the bathroom and looked at the letter. Her letter. Let's hurry. Oh, jeez. Um, so we're out of saves. So I'm just gonna, like, pick at random here. Or we should start. Let's start right here. There we go. That's, uh, follower. Sure. For some reason, her smile looks scary. Guess there's no reason for that letter challenge since we're settling this now. And then... The courtyard. Thanks to the less greenery, this area can be easily seen from the school building. Since in class time, unless the teacher is patrolling the area, it's unlikely it will be found here. So, let's do it here. Do what? Our duel. I say and take my stance. Huh? Isn't that letter you're just now meant to be a challenge for me? You must be an idiot. Come on, don't say th don't just say things like that to my face. It hurts sometimes. Let's had a deep sigh. You know, this is a love letter. For an instance, no several seconds, time froze. What did she just say now? A love letter. What's wrong? Nothing. It's just this is too unexpected. My heart just isn't really ready for it yet. Well, I was asked to do it too. You were asked? Oh, what? It's not from Q? I was a little scared. Yeah, I guess. Given her personality, instead of using something as indirect as a letter, she'd tell me in a person. Whose letter is it then? The soccer club captain told me to hand this over. It's the soccer club, huh? It's the soccer club? Wait, isn't that a guy? He's a fine guy. Wait, what am I supposed to do with this? Well, let's see. What kind of crap should just be torn up and thrown away? I wonder if you will take it. Eh? Hmm? Wait, what did you just say? I asked if Ryu would take it. Not meant for me. After hearing me say that, Q looks at me with an astonished expression. Then she keeps staring. Ha! <laughs> Starts laughing like a drain. Jeez, what's wrong? Was your heart beating like crazy because of that? Ah, that's too bad for you. Could it be that you thought you, though, was perhaps a love letter from me? Uh, I wasn't really thinking that. Ah, it's not very convincing if you look like that. <sighs> this is annoying. Besides, this is all because you told me you had something interesting to say and showed me that letter. Of course, I'd think the letter's for me. I knew that because I knew that what happened, so I don't think too much about it. So you did it deliberately, huh? Well, so? What do you mean, so? You mean, I mean the love letter. 
What do you think about it? So like I said, what about it? Jeez, oh, this is starting to so irritate me. I'm asking, do you really do you think I really should give this to Ryu? Do it. Didn't he hand it to you so you would do that? Suddenly she looks pissed. Is this something weird? You know, if Ryu gets this, she might become some other guy's girlfriend. Yeah, so? Are you okay with that? I don't really get what she's saying somehow. What does she want me to say? Become somebody else's girlfriend, then she'll start doing all sorts of things with that guy. Other guy than you, you know? Of course. What are you getting at? Ah, oh, sheesh, this is annoying. I'm more annoyed by the way you're beating around the bush. I'm trying to ask, are you okay with that? I'm telling you, why are you asking me that? What? Are you choosing to be silent? She looks at me with twitching eyebrows and a peculiar expression. I can't tell if she's glaring at me or is bothered. She's still holding on the letter for her sister in her hand. For a while, the stand-up continues. Ugh. And skews deep sigh that causes time to move again. I also do the same. I'll be frank with you. What is it? What do you think of Ryu? What do you mean? Get to the point. Do you like her or hate her? Well, that sure is to the point. Well, Frank, as it may be, i uh, being asked that all of a sudden is quite troubling. Can't say. It's either of those. What an unclear answer. Well, we've only been in the same class for a little bit, so of course I can't give you an answer. But you don't hate her, right? Well, don't have a reason to. What are you getting at? Don't you more or less know by now? With, well, with you telling me all this, sure. You tell me you still don't get it, then you are a true inborn idiot. You have to go so far. Well, repair yourself. He says and then rips the letter in her hand in pieces. Hey. Hmm? What's wrong? Is it okay if you don't give it to her? Eh? Ah, I hate that guy. Okay, well, I'm heading back to the classroom. You're delayed already. Better than being absent. <laughs> He lifts up one hand to wave up to wave, proceeds to the school building. Then a deep sigh and sit on a nearby stone wall. I scratch my head, look around me a couple times, and once again sigh. Fujibayashi, huh? Wait, what did she mean by prepare yourself? The train mystery leaves me sighing yet again. Oh boy. Fourth period ends, giving me way to our lunch break. Hello. Let's go eat lunch. How's that? Great to you, just like you told me to. That good? That was pretty cheerful. Huh? It's too cheerful for you. What? Really? Yeah, it's not in character for you at all. It's too much of a personality gap. Well, that's no good. Yeah, it isn't. So what should I do next time, then? Well... It could... Kokudo? Kokudo? What is that? Famous Japanese ventriloquist. Alright, well. Let's see. Say it with water in your mouth. Always add end of toilet seat cover to the end of your sentence or say it like a do. Um. I'm kind of interested in that one. And it also says that in the walkthrough, so it, it's not a, not, I don't know. Always add and a toilet seat cover to the end of your sentence. Huh? That sounds like something I'd have to do as a punishment. Are you really one to talk? Would you rather come to school in the morning? Why would you say that? You know that's impossible. Do as I say. Ah, fine, just watch. I really will do it. Okay, I'll be looking forward to it. Kind of wonder how that'll play out. You're fine with bread again today, right? <laughs> yeah. I thought of a new part-time job to do. Oh boy, here we go again. I don't want to see this. Spend another lunch break soon and with the two of us going back and forth like idiots. Another great way to end that. Such so period is followed by homeroom, then the day comes to end it after that. Finally, school's out. Soon our stands up. 
is unbridled excitement contained only in the fur that fist he repeatedly pumps in the air. Do you have something to do today, too? Yeah, my room's gonna get even more cyber. Ugh, here we go again. What's cyber about that? Okay, what's it then? And game console, yep. Yeah, this was cyber didn't even occur to me, right? Had to be a waste to have TV. Alright, let's plan again. Alright, let's just skip. We don't need to see this again. They're all, they're all educational games. Oh boy. Oh. Sister again. Um. Don't talk to her. We don't need to see that. Not yet. Okay. Here we go. Tap, tap, tap. Oh. Man, I need a new chair. I'm walking down the hallway by myself. Tap, 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 tap. So, I'm holding something wrapped in fancy flower patterned handkerchief. Start to look behind me in the distance. Q is there. Holding her hip, staring at me. Reluctantly, I start walking again. Tap, 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 tap. <sighs> I can't stop sighing. The flower pattern object in my hand feels awfully heavy. Inside, there's a lunchbox. Apparently, Q made it. I wonder if the food inside is actually edible. No, that's probably the problem. The problem is... The yard, huh? Say my destination out loud and let out yet another sigh. How did it end up this way? About ten minutes ago. Fourth period feels like it go goes for an eternity, but thankfully we're granted mercy by the lunch bell. Hey, Okazaki, in the toilet seat cover. What, man? Wanna go get lunch in the toilet seat cover? I'm fine with just lunch. Wanna go to the cafeteria again? What exactly are you planning on eating? Maybe a pork, pork cutlet and a toilet seat cover? That's pretty. That's a pretty crazy combo meal. Must be nice to be you, you know that? You don't seem to be thinking about the future at all. I do think about my own future, how I might look, and the toilet seat cover. You put some pretty dumb things on the same level as your future, don't you? You know, that's why everyone thinks you're such an idiot. An idiot? Did you just call me stupid? And a toilet, toilet seat cover? Well, I didn't say anything about toilet seat covers. By what you may think of me now, I used to be called a prodigy, you know, and a toilet seat cover. Talk about two extremes. Ah, I thought I could be anything I wanted back then. An airplane pilot, <laughs> an airplane pilot, teacher, policeman, and a toilet seat cover. Ah, I'm sick of this. Adding in a toilet seat cover to everything ruins everything seriously, as I try to say. And just stop saying it. Kathunk, Sunara falls over to the all sea. And the one who told me like, to talk like this in the first place. Huh, did what? I swear, you're like an amnesiac. Okay, I guess um, I do have a vague memory of telling you to do something like that yesterday. Forget it. Anyway, let's hurry up and go to the store. I have curry bread and melon bread. Let's hurry up and go to the... No, I want coffee too. Put it on my tab. You're making me run out of entry, aren't you? Come back in three. I wouldn't have mind if you had asked nicely, but with the way you said it, no way. Please hurry up and get me my lunch. Saying it in deadpan voice isn't any better. Let's decide by rock, paper, scissors then. And if you lose, no hard feelings. Perfect, whoever loses will go. I'm throwing a rock. I say, pull my arm out while clenching my fist. <laughs> Psychology tactics aren't going to work on me. You want to blame something? Blame your naivety. Rock, paper, scissors. He unfortunately throws his hand out with scissors. In the meantime, I keep holding rock. No! She already creams with the scissors held up high. Why did he actually throw a rock? Didn't you say you would throw a rock to lure me into throwing paper so that you would throw scissors? So you could throw scissors and then by anticipating I would figure out how to throw that out and throw a rock? Wouldn't that mean you should have thrown paper? What the hell are you talking about? That game doesn't count as practice. This time it's for real. Quit acting as if you were still in grade school. Hurry up and go. This hell, you're running off campus to buy lunch. No mercy, huh? Oh, you're at it. Get me lunch as well. Whoa, cute. What are you doing over in the inner classroom? Just here while I'm delivering something. So I'll have a pork cutlet sandwich and a croissant. Let's go with fruit milk for my drink. Put it on my tab. Wait a minute. Why am I running errands for you two? Wait, why are you looking at me while pumping your fist? You gonna punch me? We can decide this by rock, paper, scissors, right? He says with a smile that didn't suit her. Actually, upon second thought, it quite... It is quite fitting because of how mischievous she is. 
<laughs> okay, okay. You'll lose this one easily. I'm throwing scissors, okay? Scissors. Okay, let's yeah, go then. Rock, paper. Q's fist wobbles up and down slightly on the other hand. Uh, slightly on the other hand. Sunar keeps his hand in scissor shape. There. So now throw scissors. Q threw a rock. Hell, that's what your hand's been like the whole time. Why? Once again, Tsunahara holds his scissors up above his head, screaming spread through, scream, scream spread through the classroom. That wasn't hard. But <laughs> I told you I'd throw scissors. In that case, wouldn't you think I was luring you into throwing rock? And so conclude that I would throw paper? Well, you need to pick scissors, but since I might have gone with rock, you would have thrown paper instead? Speak in a language that makes sense, okay? I can't accept this. Ah, uh, jeez, you lost. Stop complaining about everything. Go play errand boy. They sell out. You're going to, you're going off canvas to get them. Of course he is. The two of you, you, the two of you are two alike, like husband and like wife. Huh? Eek, I'm going right away. Under our stair, under our stairs, Sinara scrambles away as fast as he can. As he runs away, the two of us look at his back and sigh at the same time. By the way, what were you going to do if you lost? Rock is basically a fist, right? Yeah. Don't I think it's easy to start punching him with my hand already in the appropriate shape? What a coincidence. I was thinking the same thing. I suppose since he got to turn run errand he got to run errands without having to suffer at all. Shinra is actually the winner here. So what are you doing here? Then I just say I'm here to deliver something? She says and holds up the thing she's carrying in her hand to show me. Looks like a lunchbox. It's wrapped in a fancy looking flower pattern napkin. Actually, I made this myself. And? Isn't that amazing? So? Quit nitpicking and express your amazement. What the hell are you talking about? If you're here to deliver it, then hurry up and do it. Your sister is already outside. I know. Their voice raised, she thrust the object in her hand right in front of me. What the hell do you want? Can't you tell? I was kissing it, can't tell. You really are a mock idiot, aren't you? Is that supposed to mean I'm a supersonic idiot? Are you giving it to me? Nope. What is it then? I'm letting go. Uh, hey. Unrelently. <laughs> Unrelently, Q lets go. In a panic, I catch the free falling object. The front yard, huh? Take that to the yard near the gate. Do it with it. Reuse her. Go eat it with her. Who? You. I don't quite understand what's going on. Just, what is this girl talking about? I made mean, you're spending lunch time in, front of, in the front yard with Ryu. What's wrong? What did you just say? I would I I'm told I'm told you. Take the lunchbox to the front yard right now. Have lunch there with Ryu. And why am I doing that? Isn't it obvious? It's my big plan to get you and Ryu together. Well, even if you just come right out and tell me that. Didn't I tell you yesterday to prepare yourself? And so, go. Hey, why are you leaving the lunchbox on your desk? I'm having bread. That won't do. You're eating this lunch. Stop pulling around. Sheesh. You just don't give up, do you? Oh, or what, or what is it? You're scared? What's that? Even though you always act like a delinquent, you're actually scared of hanging out alone with a girl. Well, if that's the case, I guess it can't really be helped. That just makes you as much of a loser as you, hey, you know. Q's eyes exagger <laughs> exaggeratedly and raises her hand up to her shoulders and shrugs. However, there's something that's annoyed me even more than that. It's just one simple sentence. As much as a loser as Tsunohara. Fine, let's do it. Pick up the lunchbox once more. You're next, you're next to the school gate, right? Yeah, yep. And then the tapping, yep. And now she tricked me into this, didn't she? Got me good there. Wasn't until I stepped out of the classroom that I came to my senses. The lunchbox feels heavier and heavier. If I just go ahead and ditch. Thinking about it scares me. Oh, wow, this is different. <laughs> we never see people here. The bright spring sunlight shines down on me. The breeze still carries a slight chill. There are several groups of students joyfully enjoying lunch in this weather, and find her a little farther down. Ah, 
sitting on the stone fence by herself, seemingly waiting for somebody. On the left, there's a lunchbox bag, and it looks just like the one I have in my hand. Did she know I was coming, or was she told to wait for someone else? The latter seemed much more likely. Q most likely told Fujiyashi that they would eat lunch together there. I'm irritated by how easy it is to figure out her thought process. I let a deep sigh and start walking. Step on the grass, there's a small crunching sound. Ah! If only that muffled sound of Fujiyashi's shoulders flinch. Turns to the face, me and her face reddens. Oh, uh, what, what? She's flustered. Why is she acting like this? Uh, hey. Um, thank you. Eh. I'm really uh, happy that you invited me to lunch. I invited her? What's going on? Uh, Honey Chanwell told me about it. Don't tell me, Q. That Okazaki-kun wa wanted to have lunch with me. She caught me good. <laughs> that was completely unexpected. I did, huh? I didn't see this one coming. With her face still blushing, Fujibayashi looks at me. It'd be easy to tell her the truth, but... Okazaki-kun. Probably make her cry. Yeah, I thought it m we might as well once in a while. Yeah. Her face seemingly happy, seemingly happy turns deep red. This reaction, oh boy. I'll be frank with you. What is it? What do you think of Ryu? What do you mean? Ah, uh, get to the point. Are you like her or hate her? Oh, I can't say either of those. What well, a clear answer. We've only been in the same class for a little bit, so of course I can't give you an answer. But you don't hate her, right? Well, I don't hate her. have a reason to. What are you getting at? I don't need more or less to know by now. Hey, it's that thing I just read a few minutes ago. Her big plan to get us together, huh? This isn't good. I think I'm falling deeper and deeper in her plot. Ah, oh, Okazaki-kun. Eh, what's the matter? Um, your lunchbox. Ah, uh, this? Is it only chance? Q, your big plan is full of holes. Think about it, there's not much of a chance I would have lunchbox wrapped in exactly the same cloth. Why do you have... The truth is, I was attacked on my way here. Eh, you were attacked? Yeah. I was headed here with my bread. I bumped into your sister, and she forced me to trade my bread for a lunch. I see. I really wanted to have that curry bread and melon bread too, but they were just gone like that. What a selfish, troublesome person. Jeez. If I refused, I probably would be laying on the floor of the hallway right now. Oh, she's actually kind of person. She's actually a kind of person. Only Chan woke up early this morning to prepare my lunch. That means she made these two together, huh? She was already up at six in the morning. Um, Oni-chan is better than me at cooking, so... That's a surprise. Based on your personality, people would assume you'd be the one who's better to cook. Not at all. If I have to say, I'm not good at cooking at all. That's so. Oh, but... I'm kinda good at cleaning. People tell me I'm good at keeping things tidy. That I can understand. By the way... Yes? Mind if I sit next to you? And then next to me? Well, if it bothers you, I can just eat while I stand. Uh, please, go ahead and sit. Fujiyashi blushes. She scoots over to me to make me a little room for me to sit down. She left about half a seat of room. I sit down on the stone fence as well. Then I place my lunchbox that Q forced me on, forced onto me, on my lap. Uh, hmm. Uh, they match. It's a little awkward, but she smiles a little and blushes even more. It's true, they do match. Since they were made by the same person, I guess their contents would be the same. Uh, I think so, too. Let's dig in. Yes. We untie the cloth wrapped around each other of the lunchbox at the same time. Next, I take the lid off. Slide. Less than a second, I shut it again. Is something the matter? Just a little. I open it up once again. Just enough that I can peek at what's inside. I can see a big heart mark sitting on top of the rice. It's probably made with mashed fish. I can actually open and eat lunch, such, such an embarrassing lunch. This is meant to harass me. Okazaki kun. Fujibayashi, can I see what's in your lunchbox? My lunchbox? With a mysterious expression, Fujibayashi head tilts her, uh, tilts her head. She stares at her lunchbox. Um, this is what it looks like. Hold the tilts the lunchbox on her lap to show me. A bear? No, a panda? Oni-chan likes these kind of things. Q 
giggles and says, Can I see yours, Okazaki-kun? Well, let's see. <laughs> I exaggerately open the lunchbox lid and really start sweeping the rice into my mouth with chopsticks. <clears throat> Are you okay? I'm fine. The rice just went down the wrong pipe. Uh, um, tea. I'll pour you a cup of tea. Thanks. Looks at me and coughs with her hands shaking. Pours a cup of tea from her thermos. He here. Mercy. <sighs> um, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay now. Were you that hungry? <laughs> well, you were eating really quickly. Yeah, I forgot to eat breakfast, so I was starving. I see. Kuriyashi says and stares at her lunch own lunchbox. Then, her hand touches her lips as if she's considered something. Would you like to eat my lunch as well? Eh. Uh, since you seem to be really hungry, I thought you just that much would, would that uh, just that much wouldn't be enough. No, it's okay. It may not look at it look good, but I don't actually eat a whole lot. I see. By the way, what did Oni Shan draw on your lunchbox, Okazaki Kun? It was a panda. Ah, the same as mine. I guess so. The same. A match. A pair. Blush. You're getting it wrong. You should eat too. Yes, I'll, I'll eat then. The tamagoyaki is delicious. I don't know what that is. But I am sure it is delicious. A type of omelet dish that is prepared by rolling an egg into layers as it's cooked on a rectangular pan. It's generally sweet and can be commonly found in Japanese breakfast, lunch, and dinners. Hmm. 